Hi, Sandra Gerard here from SandraTWP.com, the worthier part. And I'm gonna take a few minutes here and talk to you about Balance Beans. Balance Beans is this really fun, um, it's a puzzle game, it's a solitaire style game. And this is what it comes with. You've got this storage bag here. You've got a two piece uh, sort of a scale that you do all the puzzles on. You have a deck of challenge cards. And then you have these sets of beans. Now, you have two sets of uh, blue beans, and all, there's three hooked together, two sets of two yellow beans, and then two individual orange beans. And then you have one set of three together, one set of two together, and one set of one individual red beans. Now, the color doesn't really have much to do with their roll, um, all of the beans weigh exactly the same amount. Whoops. So two orange beans weighs exactly the same as two yellow beans. The reason that the red ones are different is because when you get a challenge card, the setup is always going to use the red beans. So this is the very first challenge card. It's easy and it says to set up, you're gonna take the set of two red beans and you're gonna put them right here. So obviously it's not balanced. The challenge is to take one orange and put it somewhere on the scale to balance it out. If we take one orange and we put it here, we don't get any balance. But if we take that orange and we move it back here, now we've got a balance. And if you look on the back of the card, it will show you the solution. And as you can see, it doesn't really matter which way the little guy is facing either. Um, it's the positioning of the beans. So this has ended up being a really entertaining game and really clever. And someone has been into my deck because the cards are all mixed up. That's okay. That's good. That just goes to show you that nobody can keep their hands off of this toy. So it has, has easy, medium, hard, and super hard challenges. And of course, as you might expect, as you go along, they get a little more challenging. So here our setup shows us we've got two red here three red there, and one red here. And we're gonna add in two orange, two individual orange, and then a set of three blue to make this balance. So I, let's see here. Let's see, one, two, three, gonna put that there that there mmm this is not gonna that there and that is balanced now let's see if that okay so this is balanced but it's not the same solution as we have here let's see this solution that's on the back of the card also works and that's been something that uh, one of my sons in particular and I have been having a good time with is when we find solutions that are different than the one on the back of the card. Now, I'm gonna give some spoilers here. So if you really, really, really enjoy getting puzzles and solving them yourself, it's time for you to stop the video. Um, go ahead and take a look at the notes in the bottom. I'll have a link to a review that I did on my blog that has um, a lot more photos and also there'll be links down there on where you can find Balanced Beans from Think Fun. They have just super fun games um, and turn this off. But if you don't mind the spoilers, talking a little bit about how the game works and how it might, it really helps getting your brain going and maybe get your kid's brain going, go ahead and keep watching. Okay, you've been warned. So, here is what I found really fascinating. I'm taking this apart to show you. If you take a look at the balance board, there's the center column where you can put the little bean guys, and that is neutral. So if you put anything on here, it doesn't matter. It doesn't impact the scale. <clears throat> but if you look, they put a one, a two, and a three on each row as it gets further away 
from the center. And what you can use to figure out these puzzles, especially when you start getting to these super hard ones, is that a bean on the first row, one bean on the first row is the equivalent to the weight of one bean. But if you have two beans on the first row, the equivalent force can be found by one bean on the second row. Do you see that? So we've got one and one is equal to a single bean on the second row. So you can do a little fun here with multiplication. You know, two times one is equal to one times two. You can do the same thing if you've got uh, one in the third row. Put three beans on the first row. One plus one plus one is equal to three. Can you see those three dots there? Three times one is the same as one times three. So over here, I have three times one, and I have one times three. So that's gonna equal six. Three times one plus one times three is six. How can I get six? I can get six by adding two plus two plus two. Three times, where's my finger? Two is six, and they are gonna balance perfectly. So um, this is really fun in case you haven't picked up, even though you've got these goofy little guys that look like a sort of a preschool game. This is a game that um, my middle school age children, and uh, I've been out of middle school for 30 years, so there's your 35 years, so th there's your, uh, your idea of how old I am. We have really enjoyed this as a solitaire game. And it's kind of the, the puzzle that keeps on giving because sometimes there's one solution and sometimes the solution that's on the back is one of several possible solutions. So thank you so much for watching. This has been a little bit long. I hope you found some value in it. Please check out the notes. Um, there's, as I said, links to the review on my blog, which has more pictures and more explanation, as well as links to where you can find balanced beans. Thanks so much for watching.